My name is Caroline Murphy and I work with SEAI. In this video, we're going to learn about Newton's cradle. We all know about the law of gravity that was first described by Isaac Newton. Another law that Newton came up with is that energy can be transferred from one thing into another thing. To show this, he made this Newton's cradle. When I lift this ball, it can now do something that it couldn't do before. What can it do? It can fall. We call this potential energy. The ball has potential to fall. When I let the ball fall, the moving energy changes to kinetic energy. The energy transfers from this ball to the next ball, to the next ball, to the next ball, until the energy comes out the other side. Eventually, the balls will stop moving. Has the energy disappeared? No. As you will see in the basketball experiment, the energy has not disappeared, it has changed. In this case, it has changed into sound energy and heat energy. The other important law we can see using Newton's cradle is that energy is conserved, not lost, along a chain. In other words, for every action, there is always an equal and opposite reaction. When I lift one ball, one ball comes out the other side. When I lift two balls, how many do you think will come out the other side? Two. Because for my action, there is always an equal and opposite reaction. What about if I lift three balls? Three balls come out the opposite side. Again, for every action, there is always an equal and opposite reaction. From Newton's cradle, we've learned that energy can be transferred from one thing into another thing, but energy can also be conserved along a chain.